Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Good evening, Selena. How are you? Yes. Ah, casi no se le escucha, Selena. Okay, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but I can barely hear you. Okay, so we are going to begin right now with our class. Remember that we are going to start with section two. So I need you to tell me if you have questions about section one or if everything was clear for you. En, el ejer en los ejercicios de, pre de respuestas largas eh, que estaban en la, en la sección 1, eh, eh, obligatoriamente hay que hacer respuestas largas, ¿verdad? Porque como nos daba el error de, al dejar respuestas cortas en uno de los ejercicios. Sí. Debemos hacerlo con respuesta larga. Ah, correcto. O sea, es una yes no question, pero no solamente basta con el yes, yes I am, for example, or no I'm not, sino que mm -hmm. hay que ponerle un complemento. Permítame, ah, okay. quiero ver este, es, si no me equivoco. Yes, no, long answers with B. This is the one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, you can see. Sí, sí. Yes. Yes, she's from Canada. Sí, yeah. sí. So if you're saying, for example, yes, you can say, yes, she is from Canada. Or in the case that you answer no, you can say, no, she isn't sí. from Canada. Here, if you want to answer in an affirmative way, yes. I am, I am from, from the United States. Okay, excellent. Let's see, number three. It's your English class in the morning. We can say yes, it is in the morning. And on the last one, we can say no, we aren't the same age here you can answer um in negative or affirmative form you can see i just changed the answers that i had hmm. okay let me check no we aren't the same age okay I don't know why it's saying that it is wrong. No, we aren't the same age because it is correct. No sé por qué es que la tira mal. Sí. Because we're talking about. Aparentemente está correcto. Sí, porque aquí hablamos de quiénes. You. Sí. And. Eh, we. Yeah, no. and your best friend. Yeah, we. Or let's see in another way. We are not the same age let's see okay so you see mm, okay now we have it correct so here we have okay. the yes no questions 
with long answers using the verb to be. So we just okay. changed the one that I had previously. You could see that I made the ones that we had negative into positive and the positives into negative, and they are correct. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And was that the only part that you had problems with? Yes. Okay. So today we are going to begin with the second section. That one is section two. And you can see that the section is called, how do you spend your day? So we're going to go to the first part. And here we have a conversation that is called, where do you work? So if I ask to you, where do you work? What is it going to be your answer? Anyone? No? Okay. So, yes? How would you answer that question? Where do you work? I work I at work home. in a house restaurant. Ah, okay. So one of you said that you work at home. Another one said that you work at... Where, sorry? Restaurant. Okay, so you work at a restaurant. Thank you. So we are going to listen to this conversation and then we are going to be practicing, okay? So let's listen. And then you are going to be the ones doing this role play and you are going to change the names that we have here and you are going to say your real information, okay? Me van a decir su información verdadera. So let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. How interesting. Okay, so you can see that here we have the short conversation that is called where do you work so let's see we're going to have two of you practicing right now do i have volunteers okay hey. Esmeralda, thank you who else me okay thank hmm. you so let's begin remember that this is going to be with your own information. Va a ser con la información de ustedes. So, let's begin. Okay. Okay. Where, where do you work, Esmeralda? I work at home. I am a housewife. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a clear the house. All house. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a supervisor and I work, uh, work in chicken farms. Oh, where do you work? In, in chicken farms. <laughs> Oh, okay, interesting. Which restaurant? Uh uh, he, he doesn't work in a restaurant. Ah, yes, yes. Excuse me. Okay, thank you. 
Um, just remember that the question here, what do you do? This one, what do you do? Is when we are asking about your profession. So in this case, if I ask um, Esmeralda, what do you do? What is your answer going to be? Mm. Me está preguntando mi profesión o lo que es o lo que hago realmente aquí en mi casa. No, aquí es tengo su la profesión. Cosas. Ah, okay. No, aquí es su profesión. Usted dijo ah. que es una ama de casa, so uh -huh. ama housewife. Ah, y aquí okay. sería lo que usted dijo, la actividad que hace. I clean the whole house, o sea, que limpia toda la casa. Okay. Y okay. how interesting. You can say yes, it's a great job. Mm -hmm. I love it, but you really love it. ¿En verdad le gusta? Sí, ahorita sí. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Teacher, eh, how, how do you say, ¿cómo puedo decir mi profesión? Oh, soy licenciada en administración de empresas. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Ah, ama, just give me a few seconds. Let me write that. You said that you are licenciada. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, uh, okay. Uh, in English, we use this word, BA. That uh, is, BA. Do, you, do you know what does it mean? Bachelor. Yes. Okay. For example, if you want to say that you have a licenciatura. Uh -huh. So the one that, the word that we are going to use is bachelor. Okay. Okay. So you can say, um, or I have. In this case, I have a bachelor oh, okay. and um, administration de empresas, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, enter or business in business administration. Okay. Oh, okay. Just let me double check the spelling for business. Déjeme revisar uh -huh. cómo se, si está bien escrito, business. Ok. Ok, yes, it is. Ok. Ok. So you can say that I have a bachelor in uh -huh. business administration. Business. Oh, yes. okay. And we will okay. understand that Thank you. is your licenciatura. So I can uh -huh. say that I have a bachelor's in English or in teaching English, for example. Okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, another question? No? Okay, so now Esmeralda and Lazaro, choose another person, please. Gerardo. Okay. And Beatriz. Okay, so let's listen to you, please. Where do you work, Beatriz? I do not work in. Can you repeat that answer one more time, please? I do, I do not work in. I do not Let's work. Work. Okay. And do you study, Beatriz? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, in the case that you are studying, you can tell us that information. And if you're not working, you can make up uh, a name. Si no están trabajando, pueden inventarse el nombre, ¿verdad? Okay. So let's continue. Gerardo, continue, please. Oh, really? What do you do there? Mm. 
Me la podría repetir. Okay, can you say that again, please? Oh, really? What do you do there? We are here, Beatrice. Eh, pero allí, digamos, que si yo no dije no trabajo, entonces dijo que se puede inventar uno. En el caso suyo, si está estudiando, I'm a student. Entonces, ajá, si estoy estudiando. Ajá, ¿y qué es lo que está estudiando? Ah, ok. Eh... Podría ser, I am studying high school and English. Okay, continue, Gerardo. Oh, interesting. Disculpe la pregunta, este, están leyendo. O sea, les he, dejado, les he dejado acá este modelo para que lo sigan ustedes, ¿verdad? Y les decía que... No, a mí no me aparece. En la pantalla. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Hi. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, no, lo que pasa es que no está compartiendo la pantalla ahorita de la conversación. De la conversación. En serio. Sí. Permítanme que a mí me, si me salía que la estaba compartiendo. Es que cuando es ah, ok, yes, it's right. oh, sí. ah, ok, thank you. Vaya, okay, porque teacher. no me dicen. Ok, sorry. <laughs> ok, so let's continue. How interesting. Eh, perdón. Eh, We are here. Yes, yes. It's a great job. I love it. And um, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job with Independent consultant to um, where do you work? In um, manufacturing food. Disculpe, dijo manufacturing. In a manufacturing. Manufacturing. Okay. Which, which manufacturing? Okay. For, for example, wine. Wine. Chorizos, putifarras, etc. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay, thank you. So now, Gerardo and Beatriz, choose another person, please. Choose two different people. Selena. Okay. Okay, Selena and whom else? Raquel. Okay, Selena and Raquel. Where, are, where, are you, where do you work, 
Selena. Se escucha. Yes. Sí, sí se le escucha. Selena, where do you work? You are on mute, Selena. I don't know where, but I Casi no escucho. Okay, she said that she doesn't work, but she studies English. Continue, oh, Raquel, really? please. Oh, really? What do you, what do you there? I Excellent. Oh, interesting. I am accounting. I work in a enterprise industrial. Okay, Raquel, can you say that one more time, please? Um, I work in the enterprise industrial. She works. Compañía, Sorry, go ahead. En una compañía industrial. Raquel, Selena, ask which industrial company? It's um, um, fabric of um, food. A food factory? Food factory. Ah, okay. Thank you. So now, Raquel and Selena, choose two different people, please. Karen, Brian. Okay, so we have Karen and Brian. Let's listen to them, please. Yes, teacher. Where do you work, Brian? I am not working. What do you do? Um, I am a student. I I learn uh, another language and and words. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And uh, what do you do? I am nutritionist. Oh, where do you work? Where do you work? I work in a clinic. Which clinic? Nutricare. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Sorry, what did you say? That is your profession. What do you do? Nutritionist. Ah, you're a nutritionist. Excellent. Thank you. 
And uh, let me see. Yeah, we still have time. So choose two different people, please. Karen and Brian, choose two different people, please. Carlos y Esmeralda. Okay. I think that Esmeralda already participated, right? <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda ya participó. So choose another person, please. Hi, Carlos, teacher. Yes, so we have Carlos, but we're missing one L. So I think that okay. we're going to have um, Tamara. Okay. Hi. Um, where do you work? Where do you work, Tamara? Uh, excuse me, uh, I have a question. How do you say uh, sesión de fotos? Sesión de fotos. O como se. Excuse me. <laughs> Model. No, 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 sesión de fotos. No. Eh, estudio de fotos, lo siento. Así, oh, estudio de fotos. Sí. Oh, so you you work at a photograph studio? For yes. Studio. Yeah. Okay. okay. I work. You? No. Uh, she asked to begin again. So can you start the conversation, Carlos? Yes. Hi. Yes. Okay, teacher. Where do you work, Tamara? I work at. <laughs> eh, studio for photography studio. Okay. Oh, oh, really? What do you do there? I'm taking a photo and edit. Oh, interesting. Uh, uh, yes, it's great job. I love it. Really love it. And what about you? Ah. I I am uh, I I have a bachelor in public accounting. Uh, oh, where do you work? Uh, in office um, um in office um, accounting auditing. Tamara. Uh, which, a qué se refiere? No he entendido el micrófono. A, un office, a una oficina de auditoría y, con, y contabilidad. No, pero lo de which, no entiendo la pregunta. Oh. ¿Cuál? Ah, which office? Oh, it's, it's Ney um, Ortega Cisneros. Ok, oh, thank you. Ok. Yes, thank you. Okay, um, I really need you to practice with your professions and the things that you do at work. So, for example, if you are asked, what do you do? In my case, I'm a teacher. I plan classes and I administer exams, for example. Uh, if you ask me, where do you work? I work in an academy, I can say, and then I can say the name of the academy. So for example, I work at Regal International, or if I work in a different place, I work, for example, in a call center and so on, okay? So we are going to be practicing that right now. Uh, if you are only studying, you can say, I study, at, um, and you say the name of the high school or university where you are now, okay? And you can tell us, I study, for example, medicine, because I like it, for example. I really need you to practice, okay? So I'm going to begin with Esmeralda. I'm going to make the question, and then Esmeralda is going to ask another person, and so on, okay? Nos vamos a ir así preguntando tipo cadenita. So Esmeralda, what do you do? You are on mute. Excuse me. 
excuse me. Okay. I am a bachelor. Yes. Mm. Oh no. Okay. What do you do? Is your profession? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you do? In this moment, uh, I am a home, a uh, home housewife. Housewife. Okay. Thank you. So ask Carlos. Yes, okay. Okay, Carlos, what do you do? Um, senior of the team. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? I senior of the team. Uh, so you're not an accountant. No es contador. Auditor y contador. Ah, so you are an auditor. Auditor. And accountant. And accountant. And accountant. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, Carlos, ask Gerardo. How did you do it? How did you do it? Sorry, teacher. How, how did you do it? No. Uh, what did you do? Yes, thank you. How did you how do you do? Uh -uh. How do you do, Gerardo? No, remember that the question when we are asking about professions what? is what? What? Oops, sir. what? What? Okay, teacher. What do you do, Gerardo? Okay. Yeah. I am our industrial engineer. Thank you. Gerardo, make the question to Tamara. Tamara, what do you do? Um, take a photo. Okay, but how do you call that profession? O sea, eso es lo que usted hace, pero su profesión, ¿cuál es? Um, photograph, photography, I, I don't know if it's okay. I'm a photo. I am photograph, photo. That is the profession. Uh, yes. Okay, so you are a photographer. I'm a photographer. Okay, thank you. Tamara, make the question to Josue Mauricio. Uh, what do you do, Josue? I am master degree in public health. Mm, okay, but what is your profession? What is your profession? Master. Master degree in public health. In public health. Is that yes. correct? Sí. Mm, yes, Ma master. Yeah, a master degree MD uh -huh. in, public in public health. health. Vaya, pero yeah. si, si lo fuéramos a traducir en una profesión. Es maestría en salud pública. Are you a doctor? Um, a, a pediatric consultation. Ah, so. Sorry. I'm a pediatric. You said pediatric? Pediatric consultation. Consultant. Consultant. Consultant with a with an with a MD in public health. Okay, excellent. So you can say that you are a pediatric consultant with a MD in public health. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So Mauricio, make the question to Selena. What do you do? Selena. Okay, she is an English student. Thank you. Selena, make the question to Raquel. What do you do, Raquel? Public. Sorry, what, what do you do, Raquel? I'm accounting public. I'm a public. Accounting. Thank you. Uh, Raquel, make that question to Francisco. What do you do, Francisco? 
I am agricultural engineer. Thank you. Francisco, ask to Beatriz. What do you do, Beatriz? I am a student. Okay, thank you. Beatriz, ask to Jonathan. What do you, what do you do, Jonathan? Uh, I am employed. An employee? Employee, yes. Okay, so I'm, um, oops, sorry, an employee. Thank you. Jonathan, make the question to Karen. What do you do, Karen? I am nutritionist. Thank you. Karen, make the question to Brian. Brian, what do you do? I am an English student. Okay, excellent. Am I missing someone? Me hace falta alguien? Nope. I think I'm not missing anybody. Okay, excellent. So basically with this question, what do you do? We are asking about your profession. O sea, estamos preguntando de su profesión. What do you do? You said, um, I'm a housewife, I'm a teacher, I'm an auditor, or I'm an accountant. Um, what else? I'm a nutritionist. Uh, you said, I'm a student. Um, what else? I'm an industrial... Yes, one of you said that you are an industrial engineer, no? Ingeniero industrial, no? Puro industrial. Ah, okay. Thank you. So now if we ask, where do you work? Esmeralda, where do you work? Puedo, puedo inventar. O yes, you can. Lo que hacía en el trabajo, okay. Definitely. I work as uh, assistant, admin, 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 uy. administrator. Administrator, yes. Ay, pero ese es el lugar donde trabaja o la ah, posición? No, era lo que hacía. Ah, sí. Lugar donde trabajaba, ajá. Uh -huh. I worked at uh, Intradesa. Ah, uh, really? You worked at Intradesa? Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. I met many people from Intradesa. I had many students from that place a long time ago. Really? Yes. <laughs> so probably some of them are still working there. I'm not sure. I remember Liliana from HR, from Recursos Humanos. Liliana Martinez? I think so. I don't remember her last name, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I met many people from that place. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Carlos, where do you work? I am um, senior auditing. No, where do you work? Donde trabaja? Uh, oh, teacher. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, up, um, in an office of the contadores y auditores. Okay. Thank you. Gerardo, where do you work? Independent consultant. Okay. Selena, uh, where do you study? I study in my house. Okay, thank you. Raquel, where do you work? Thank you. Francisco, where do you work? I work in Criaves Breeder Farms. Thank you. Beatriz, where do you study? I study at home. Okay. Tamara, um, where do you work? What? What I do, excuse me. What do you do? What do you work? Where do you work? Yes. Where do you um, work in Mercado de Ciudad Pago? Por ahí. No sé cómo se te. Y 
Con una ubicación así. Oh, no. El nombre de la empresa sería. Fotogénesis. Uh, ah, ok. Thank you. Jonathan, and where do you work? Uh, I work in. As, uh, no, sorry. Uh, I work at Silver Coffee. Thank you. Josué Mauricio, where do you work? I work in Social Security in Santa Ana. Ah, Social Security. Excellent. Karen, where do you work? I work in NutriCare Clinic. Thank you. And Brian, where do you work? Sorry, where do you study? I study at home. Okay, excellent. So, let me just share this information with you. Remember that the question, what do you do, is going to be asked when we want to know your profession. Vamos a hacer esta pregunta cuando nosotros queremos saber su profesión. So, we have a photographer, a pediatric consultant, we have an English student, well, I think we have three English students, we have a public accountant, we have an employee. Um, I remember that we also have, well, two accountants and an auditor, if I'm not mistaken, right? Now, with the question, where do you work? You can say, I work at, and then you say the name of the company, okay? Con esta pregunta, como estamos preguntando dónde, nosotros decimos lo que es el nombre de la empresa. So, for example, in my case, I work at Regal International, okay? Um, Josué Mauricio said that he works, because I'm talking about him, he works at East. Um, let me remember another one. Okay, Francisco said that he works at Criades, you said, right? Cria yes, Criades, ah, yes. Cria uh, like this? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Thank you. Raquel said that she works at Arrocera Omoa, right? Yes. Excellent. Um, Tamara said that she works at, do you remember where she said? Genesis Pharmacy. Okay, yeah, Genesis. Photo. Photo Studio, let's call it like that, okay? And so on. If you can see here, because I'm talking about third person, I'm using the verb in third person singular, okay? Como estoy hablando yo en lo que es tercera persona, estoy utilizando lo que es el verbo de igual manera en tercera persona. So, in this case, the question is going to change. La pregunta va a cambiar porque ya no estoy hablando de mí. And how is it going to be? ¿Cómo nos quedaría entonces la pregunta? Where does. Okay, where does. That's your work. Mm -mm. Work. He or she. she, or she. Excellent. Or she. Where does he or she work? And then you said he works at is or he works at Criades. She works at Arrocera Umoa. She works at Genesis Photo Studio. Okay? So you can see the difference. The same is going to happen here if I'm not asking about yourself, but probably someone else. Um, for example, I can ask, what does Francisco do? Do you remember? He works at Criades. Uh -uh. No, listen to the question. The question is, what does he or she do. Uh -huh. What does Francisco do? Cultural engineer. He is? He is a cultural engineer. Or a no? Cultural or? A 
agricultural. Agricultural. And agricultural. Engineer? Yes. And how do you spell engineer? Ingeniero. G. G. I. N. E. E. R. Yes. Seguro que así se escribe. Así, así lo escribo yo. No sé okay, si estoy excellent. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, what if I ask, what does Brian do? Do you remember? He is a student. Ah, excellent. Mm -hmm. He is a? With an English. Ah, so he is? An English student. student. Yeah. Excellent. And what does Raquel do? She is a public, a public account. Uh -huh. Accountant. Accountant. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What does Karen do? She is. Uh -huh. She is a nutritionist. Nutritionist. Uh -huh. So, nutritionist. Okay. Let's see if you were paying attention. What does Selena do? She is photographer. Are you sure? English, English student. student. Ah, okay. She is an English student. student. Excellent. And who is the phot photographer? Sorry. Tamara. Tamara. Ah, excellent. So you see, you're paying attention. Let's see. Um, what does Jonathan do? He is employer. Employer or employee? Employee. Employee. Okay, an employee. Do you know the meaning of employee? No, empleado. Empleado. And what is employer? Empleado. Okay, excellent. Yes, so he said that he is an employee. Perfect. Okay, any questions? Preguntas hasta acá o está todo claro? It's a clear. It's clear? Clear. Okay. Okay. I know that you're going to have more questions, so because today is going to be the last day that we're having classes, and so I'm going to send you homework, okay? Le voy a enviar tarea para el fin de semana. Okay, así el lunes, eso va a ser lo primero que le voy a preguntar. Okay, and what is your homework going to be? It's going to be about profession, okay? Va a ser acerca de profesión. I'm going to be sending that information to the chat we have in WhatsApp, to the group we have in WhatsApp, okay? And I hope I can send it to you by tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to move to the next activity. This is the video that we have in the platform that is about simple present WH questions and statements. Okay, so let's listen and then we are going to be working on it. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? 
She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Works. Okay, so you can see here that we have the simple present with WH questions and statements. Uh, this is something that I remember you studied on the previous module, simple present tense. And when we're talking about WH questions, as it is explained on the video, the way that we are going to structure these questions is the following. We're going to begin with the WH word, then we're going to continue with the auxiliary that can be either do or does, then we have subject plus the verb in its base form plus a complement, ¿ok? Esto es algo que habíamos visto anteriormente. La forma en la que vamos a hacer las WH questions va a ser primero con la WH word, luego el auxiliar, que puede ser do or does, dependiendo del sujeto. Then we're going to have the subject, el verbo, ¿verdad?, que regresa a su forma normal media vez nosotros hayamos usado el auxiliar más un complemento y el signo de interrogación. Ok, so let's see, Gerardo, can you read these three questions, please? What do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to a school? Thank you, Raquel, can you read the, the answers, please? Um, I student and I have a part-time job. Continue, Raquel. I work at in a restaurant. I go to the University of Texas. Okay, thank you. Um, Brian, the next question, please. Where does Andrea work? What does she do? How does she like it? Thank you. Uh, Esmeralda, the answers, please. Okay. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She's a girl. The guy. She takes. She's a guy. She takes people of door. She loves it. She loves it. Okay, thank you. And another thing that was mentioned is that when we are using the pronoun I, you, we, and they, the verb is going to be in its base form. So we have, um, let me see. Jonathan, can you read these verbs? Please. Work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. Thank you. Um, and when we are talking about he, she, and it, we are going to add an S or we're going to modify the verb depending on its ending. And let's see. Tamara, can you read them, please? Uh, 
Where does Andre? Here. No, can you read the verbs, please? Uh, work, works. 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 Takes. Studies. 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 Teaches. Oh, teach. Teaches. Does. Goes. 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 No, goes. goes. Has. And has. Okay. Goes. Um, has. Okay, excellent. Uh, you can see here that have is an irregular verb. This one won't follow some rules that we have studied previously and that we only add S at the end of the verb. So you can see that when we're talking about he, she, and it, the verb is going to change to has. Okay, it's not going to, it's not going to be have, but it's going to be has. Okay, who can tell me the rules for these verbs? ¿Quién me puede decir las reglas para estos verbos en tercera persona? Anyone? At least one. Recuerdo uno, pero en español. Okay, <laughs> Todos los verbos terminados en Y. Ajá. Se elimina la Y y se pone IES. IES. Ok. Pero no yes. me recuerdo la excepción. Ajá. Who can tell us the exception? ¿Alguien que nos pueda decir la excepción? No. You don't remember? No. Ok. ¿Están viendo esta presentación ahorita de Prezi? Yes. 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 Ok. So I'm going to share that right now with you. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where do I have the rules? Here they are. Ok. So. Um, the... Most commonly used rule that we are going to see is this, that in general, in the third person, we add S, ¿ok? Generalmente, para la tercera persona, lo único que hacemos es agregarle S. However, it says that the spelling for the, for the verb in the third person differs depending on the ending of that verb, ¿ok? Ese verbo puede cambiar dependiendo de cómo termine. So, for example, Mauricio, can you read these information, please? For verb that in in O C H S S S S F S F S. Uh huh. X or C. We we have. Yes. In the third person. Thank you. So, for verbs that end in O, C, H, S, H, double S, X, or Z, we are going to add ES in the third person, okay? Si el verbo termina en O, C, H, S, H, double S, X, o Z, le vamos a agregar lo que es ES a la tercera persona. So, you can see that I have go, catch, wash, Kiss, fix, and buzz. Si se dan cuenta, acá termina en O, CH, SH, WS, X y Z. Y según la regla, le tengo que agregar lo que es ES. So go becomes goes. Go. Catch, Catch. Catches. wash, Watches. 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 kiss. Kisses. 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 Fix. Fixes. Fixes. Buzz. Buzz. Okay, excellent. This is the one that our classmate was telling us. Esta es la que nos decía ahí la compañera. 
for verbs that end in a consonant plus y, tenemos, para aquellos verbos que terminen en consonante más y, cambiamos la y y agregamos ies. So you can see we have marry, study, carry, and worry. Tengo consonante y, consonante y, consonante y, consonante y. So I delete the y, borro lo que es la y, and I change it to IES. So Mary becomes? Mary. Study? Studies. Carry? Carry. Worry? Worry. 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 OK. Y para los verbos que terminan en una vocal más y, solamente vamos a agregarle S. So we have play, enjoy, and say. Play? Plays. Enjoy. Enjoy. Say. Say. Okay. Say. Okay. So basically, those are the rules that we have. Esas son las reglas que tenemos, ¿verdad? <coughs> es decir, si el verbo termina en una de esas, o tiene una de estas terminaciones, vamos a agregarle ES. Si termina en una consonante más Y, quitamos la Y y agregamos IES. Pero si termina en una vocal más Y, solamente le agrego la S. Y para los demás verbos, como lo decía acá la regla, lo único que voy a hacer es agregarle S. ¿Ok? ¿Preguntas? Yeah, question, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, en, el, en la segunda excepción de la regla, no importa la persona que se... Que se eh, um, en la segunda. En la segunda. Um, yeah. Let me... Ok. Vaya, uh, ¿qué estamos hablando acá? Regla. No, esto sí. aplica solamente para la tercera persona. Sí, pero en la otra donde... Para agregar la S, en la, en el otro, el otro. Number two. Ok. Aquí no importa qué persona me esté, me esté eh, dirigiendo. Es no, no esta, esta regla aplica solamente para he, she, and it. Ok. okay. Estas okay. que acabamos de ver solamente es para tercera persona, el singular, es decir, he, she, and it. Y cuando son oraciones afirmativas. Ok. Solo en oraciones afirmativas y en tercera persona es que yo aplico estas reglas. Ok. Ya okay. cuando hablo de I, you, we, and they, el verbo siempre va a ir en su forma normal. ¿Ok? El presente, simple presente. Correcto. Ok. Ok, another question. No. No, oh, teacher. Okay, so we are going to stop here because it's time. And I'm going to be sending you the information, as I mentioned before. Le voy a estar enviando lo que es la información entonces acerca de las profesiones. Igualmente, si gustan, les comparto el enlace de esta presentación que tengo de Prezi para que la estudien y se les haga más fácil, ¿verdad? Okay? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, yes, so that's teacher. going to be Please. all for today. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming and see you on Monday. See you. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.